Hi, welcome to my patio. Today we are going to talk about the bags that I have been using on rotation since we got to Florida. I know we've only been here about eight weeks, nine weeks, something like that. So it really hasn't been a very long time, but I switch my bags out all the time. And there are different reasons to carry a different bag. So that's just what I do. Not all of my bags made the move to the apartment. Some are still in storage. So, and this isn't even all the bags I have here with me, but these are the ones I've used the absolute most since I've been here and why I've used that bag over a different one. Stick with me. First off, I have to discuss the bag that I mentioned before. I've been using non-stop. I say non-stop, meaning all the time, most of the time. The other bags are ones I grab for different various reasons or whatever, but my all day, every day, constant bag has been this one. This is the Gucci. I will put the information down here for all the bags. This is that Gucci bag that I talked about and absolutely adore. In that video, I also talked about how I started with this little guy and absolutely adored it, and I still do. However, it wasn't quite big enough for all of my needs all the time, although when I don't need much, this is the one I grab. I also promised, I had so many people asking me to, to show the difference in what fits in each of these. So let's do that first, and then we'll get on to all the other bags that I use on different occasions since I've been here. So let's do that first, here we go. So quickly, this is the mini and this is the small. Let me show you what I have in here and then of those items, what would fit in here if I had to grab this one and go with most of the things I want. So this is the, the bag, the way I have it packed, the way I use it every day as we speak. This is how I have it. There's still room on top for more things if I wanted. It's not jam packed, but this is how full it is. I have this little guy, which I absolutely adore, that's filled with all my little things, like my um, shea butter for my cuticles and whatnot, my hair clip. Oh, I have two shea butters, didn't know that. This lipstick I love, it's by Merit. I'll link that, I'll link everything that seems to be interesting down below. Um, uh, face powder with mirror. Love this color, gotta talk about this too. This is great. And of course, two chapsticks. Then my other biggest item in here is this guy. This is my key pouch by Gucci. I love this. I will always love this. It fits in the palm of my hand. If I'm just walking somewhere, it has my gate, you know, thingy bob thing to get in the gate of my apartment complex. It's got the key to my front door of my apartment complex. We are in a temporary apartment right now um, until we get into a house. So there's that. And then inside I've got my um, car key thing, another little fob thing for a doctor's appointment place and two mailboxes. <laughs> I have my brush on sunscreen. Love this stuff. When you're out and about, it goes right over your makeup, whatever. It's a mineral powder. You can just pop it right on when you feel like you're getting a little bit too much sun somewhere. Love it. That goes with me everywhere here in Florida. Face mask and two pairs of glasses. If I want reading glasses, sunglasses, um, whatever. Just got these new sunnies. Love them. Love these. They're Maui gem. Everything looks so beautiful in these. I don't know, I love them. Again, I'll link it all below if you're interested. And then in here, I have a slip pocket and this is my wallet, which has some cash and any uh, medical cards, library cards, whatever. Just right here in this slim bit. It goes right in that pocket. And that's everything that's in this bag with a little bit of room to spare. Now, how would I put most of that in here? It's a little trickier. Obviously taking the, the things out of the bags really, really helps. So I would cut it down to one lipstick, one face powder, one of that, my hair tie, one chapstick, and let's just, which one do I use most? Oh, it doesn't matter, let's go with this one. Okay, so I would do that first of all. My sunblock, put this down in here, my wallet stuff. There's a slip pocket back here also. Same thing. That's my wallet. This takes up a lot of space. Yes, I can take the keys out 
I prefer not to, so I try not to. So let's just put this in as is. Still space. Let's choose one pair of glasses and the face mask. No. As you see, all of that's in here. Every single thing that I had in this bag except for this pair of glasses, which by the way does fit, if you really want to, you know, it'll, you can make that work and still zip it. The only thing I had in here that is not in here currently is this lipstick and this pouch. So as you can see, it's really not that much different. Now the difference for me is that when you do have it this packed, yes, the things can go with you, but if you want to get to your keys, you really kind of have to take things out, you know, to get there, right? And then you're using your keys and you want to put them back. You have to try to, you know, arrange and figure, but it's still not that bad. So it's still very, very doable. So yeah, this is just easier. I can kind of leave it open next to me in the car. I can just reach in while I'm driving, grab my key fob thing. You know what I mean? Just personal preference. And yes, I could pack this more full if you needed more things. So for those of you who wanted the difference to see that what goes where, there you go. Now let's talk about the other bags that I use when these aren't constantly on my arm. When I want to move away from the taupe and I'm wearing something, let's say black and white with a color or whatever, and it's an easy type of a place to go and I want crossbody, Hands down, this bag is amazing. It's Hermes, it's the Evelyn, it's the smaller of the two sizes. I have used this thing to pieces. I've talked about it a lot. It is still in absolutely perfect condition. It's still soft and snuggly and smushy, and it's just the most amazing leather. I love it. Definitely worth the investment. Yes, some of these bags are very expensive. It, you know, I have some that were not also that I got from Amazon here. So it's not all expensive and luxury, but boy, when you get a good luxury one, it's worth every penny. If you have the penny to spare, this bag is just so perfect with this pocket back here. You can just shut your phone into easily. So comfortable to wear. Love it. There's so many reasons. Again, a crossbody that I can't stop using. I absolutely love this year round. Um, when I lived in Illinois, this didn't come out as much in the winter. This is more of a summer fall bag for me, but here it can kind of go with anything at any given time, which I love. It's, as you know, and everyone knows about this type of a bag and this style, you can fit so much in it and it is just kind of perfect in so many ways. So this one is one that I will grab if I just sort of want something extra, something different. And here's the thing, this one is the original, the original, original, the one that has the, the little pull tab here with the, the piece of the Keta leather, the Sheta, whatever it is. Um, these were, th this stopped being manufactured a long time ago with this, you know, with this tab, which I don't understand why. I love this tab. Anyway, this one is the original original and there were so many problems with this bag of uh, the glazing and all that stuff and people were nervous and I was too and trying to figure it out and I did go to see if I wanted to get an exchange and they said they would do an exchange for me because of the glazing issues people are having. I decided not to. I love this bag. It's been with me for so many of my life adventures. I wanted to just keep the one that I had. Um, the glazing thing is a little bit of a visual issue, but other than that, it's the functionality of the bag is absolutely perfect still. There's no need to, you know, be concerned about that for me. The interior is still pristine, beautiful, functions so well, love every bit of it. There's nothing wrong with it. There's no cracking here. It's just a little bit of that, that glazing does its thing as it ages. And it was an issue and it is an issue. I'll agree. And for the price of the bag, yeah, it shouldn't do that. I agree with that too. However, I wanted to keep my original and I'm glad I did because it's just, it's special. And I love this pull tab. That's just me. I wanted to share that. Now I've talked about this tote several times. I mentioned it in my favorites, I believe. It's J. Crew. It is so so good you can get different colored handles but this is the one that i chose and i love this this goes with me everywhere so as a tote bag i'm reaching for this lately more than i am my never fulls or anything like that currently this is the bomb i take it with me to the post office i take it with me to the pool i take it with me um, running errands i stuff my husband's dry cleaning in there to take it to the 
to the dry cleaner. I and mean, it's just kind of that catch all that goes with me whenever I run myself, you know, whenever I'm in the car and I'm running an errand or anything, I know that I'll probably throw some whatever errands I have. And I have a little bag of something I can just throw in there and takes one trip from the car. Love it. Cannot say enough about this bag. Just perfect. Now this guy, I love my original Speedy. It's the one with, it's not the bandolier. They didn't even have that option when I purchased this. I've used this thing years and years and years, so many times, so many places, absolutely adore it. I've never sprayed it with anything. It's still in incredibly good condition. Um, just perfection in every way, shape or form. I love it, love it, love it. And this is a good bag for when you want more, you want to carry more, but you're not having to carry it around a long, you know, a lot because it is handheld, which I love handheld. Some people just really don't, but I love a handheld bag. And when I need to just throw a few more things in there and not have it too packed tight, I, this is the one I grab. It's kind of, I don't want to say a beater bag, but it kind of is in that these canvas bags, you can throw them around, step on them, not that you want to or should, but you can, and they still look like this in the end. That's the best part about them. And then when I do have, when I do use this bag, I usually use some sort of pouches inside. It's all organized the inside by using like little, like this pochette that I've had forever and ever. Here comes the, um, the guy on his lawnmower. And you know, these type pouches work so well inside to then, you know, organize the contents of the bag with still tons of space. So can't say enough about it. This is just an easy grab, go, do whatever with for any kind of an outfit, unless it's super fancy. Yeah. Can't say enough about that one. Love it. Two more, two more bags that I've been using pretty much on rotation nonstop besides my Gucci um, since I've been here. Now this one uh, is for the Disney parks and Universal or any other parks or when I do my walking uh, in this forest preserve, which I did the other day and I want to share that with you. I'll put that video up pretty soon. It's just this incredibly gorgeous walk and a little bit of house information is in there too. So I'll put that up pretty soon after this one. But this is the bag that I got. Now I have this bag in black. I packed it. It's somewhere in storage right now waiting for the new house to happen. Um, but when I got here, I'm like, oh my gosh, I didn't bring, think to even bring that bag. It's the most perfect bag. It's the one that I took to France. I talked about that one on our uh, trip to France. So, you know, if you know about that one, I went back on Amazon, grabbed another one, got this color since I already have black. I love this thing. It is the most comfortable crossbody, very adjustable. Um, this fabric -y kind of a bag. It is so good. This part, it fits like against your body. You can put anything very, very important. It's never gonna be, you know, tampered with or whatever. And then each of these poles, every single one of the three poles has this clip type of a thing. That you then clip to the D-ring right next to it for added security. So no one's gonna just, you know, yank it open when you're not looking or whatever. Each one of them has that, which is so good for extra security. Love it, super simple to undo and get in your bag. It's got, it's got stuff in it. <laughs> but basically, it's got organization inside. This zips across the back wall. And you have this side. I just put my cards, anything I need for the day, some cash, some chapstick, a hat fits in here. You can take your hat off and ride a ride to get in there with your sunglasses or whatever. It's still very close up to your body very comfortable. I cannot say enough about this thing. It comes in several different colors. Um, again, I got from Amazon and you cannot beat it. I love it. And I love my black one too. <laughs> That's how I learned about it was when I took that one to France and thought, yes, it's perfection. And last but not least, I have not even shown you guys this bag. I don't think I've even talked about this bag and I need to get back on Instagram again because I've stopped that just in all the chaos and everything. And that's usually when I show things more and so that you know that I even have them, but I first did not want this bag, and then I found one in a color I loved, and I got it, so duh. I love it. It's the Trendy. It's in this beautiful blue color. It's a navy, and it's stunning, and I didn't have a navy bag, and I love it. I love it because you can use it as a handheld, crook of the arm, you know, type of a bag, or you can use it as a shoulder bag, and it even goes crossbody. If you're shorter like me, if you want to just throw it around crossbody, you can do that. And five five. It has this 
beautiful pocket on the back. The interior is very, very similar to this bag. The size is very similar also. So if you love this, you would love this. It's gorgeous. So whenever I go anywhere, um, a little fancier, or go out to dinner, or whatever. I've worn it with jeans too, of course, but it's just, it's not something I would take to the parks with me, but I love it. And if it goes with my outfit, this is the one I have been grabbing for sure. Love it. If you want a more in-depth look at it, let me know. I'll see what I can do. So, so far, since we've been here without all the bags that I own, even though I still have more here with me, these are the ones that have been grabbed, used, for all the reasons that I need to use them while I'm here. I also have a selection of um, SLGs that I use constantly around the clock. So if you're interested in that, I will let you know what those are in an upcoming video. Just let me know, okay? Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate it as always. Have a great day.